so not long ago, we told you about a heroic deputy who saved a little girl from a hot car last weekend. Yeah, and all new at noon, News 6 reporter Sashel Saunders caught up with the special deputy who got results. Deputies say they got a call from a Sanford mom that her child and car were missing. They say they eventually learned that that mom had simply gone to a liquor store and left that baby in the car, forcing a deputy to save the child's life. Opened the door, uh, immediately hit with uh, hot air. It was, it was, it was, it was hot in there. Um, felt for a pulse, couldn't feel the pulse. Sunday morning and temps had already swelled to 87 degrees and for 12 hours, a three year old girl had sat in the car, windows up. Just drenched, covered in sweat, covered in sweat and just a little limp. On, that was, it was scary. Deputy Sheriff William Dunn first got the call thinking it was a missing child report. He had no backup or paramedics dispatched and no time to waste. I put her in the passenger seat and um, put my hand on her chest to try and stabilize her as best I could and then, um, and then went to the hospital. His actions saved her life. The preschooler with barely a pulse made a full recovery. Wednesday, Dunn held her once more. I uh, brought her a little stuff to Unicorn and, and uh, she said, is, is that yours? I said, well, it's yours now. And she came over, took it, and Dad said, why don't you give him a hug? And, and she just kind of, kind of fell into my arms. The girl and her siblings were removed from 33-year-old mom Casey Keller's home by DCF. Keller was arrested for child neglect, but later bonded out. Reporting in Seminole County, Sashel Saunders, News 6.